This is Jonathan Aguilar here for Pro Boxing fans. Up here in Newcastle today with light heavyweight Lawrence Osecki. How's it going? Yeah, good. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you as well. Um, you're back out in a couple of weeks' time at the Eagles Community Arena uh, in Newcastle. Three weeks' time. Um, talk me through the return. Obviously, you suffered your first defeat against Dan Aziz last time out, but you're back and uh, ready to roll again. Yeah, uh, just looking forward to getting out there and getting active again. First one of the year. Um, I think um, back in the year I had a lot going on. I think it kind of probably showed in me fight. Um, not that it's excuses because I think everyone's got different stuff going on. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking forward to putting on a good performance in three weeks' time. I mean, let's just touch on that uh, Dan Aziz fight. Yeah. Um, how how did you think your performance went? Obviously, it was defeat on points uh, in Brentwood in December. But yeah, talk me through the fight. Yeah, I, th I think um, I think sp like sp sparring. I think we struggled with sparring up here in the north. I think sparring could have definitely helped getting a bit more sparring. I know the kids down south have got a lot more different people, especially at light heavyweight. And um, there's not a great deal in the northeast. Um, but I think like I, personally, I think I just had a lot going on, and I think. I don't think I realised till I was kind of in there that like it was showing me performance. Not so much. I, I kind of realised afterwards, and when I was discussing it, obviously family members and stuff like that, you kind of the performance wasn't there. I was kind of I'm doing everything correct in the gym, training hard, living the life as such. But um, performance-wise, it wasn't really there. I mean, why why do you think that was? Just well, I, I mean, I've got two young kids. I was in the middle of a house move. There was a few private things, family had kind of family things had kind of gone on. Um, and yeah, I, th I just think there was too much going on. I think in the sport of boxing, this kind of you've got to you've got to be everything. You've got to be focused and can't have really distractions and things like that, which I kind of did. I mean, just on sort of Dan Aziz, he's obviously won the English belt now. How yeah. far do you see him going? Yeah, I think he's good. I think I think um, I think the heavy, light heavyweight division. I think there's a lot of good kids. Um, to be honest, I think there's a lot of good domestic fighters. Um, um, how you would do progressing, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I think he is a good kid, but um, I think time will tell. To be honest. I mean, as you said, it's quite a thriving domestic scene. Yeah. Uh, you've obviously got the golden contract. Yeah. You've obviously got, you know, obviously Dan Aziz holds the English belt. Um, what sort of level are you looking to get back into? Obviously, you've got this fight in the end of February but I presume after that you're looking to step up yeah to, to be honest it's just to see what opportunities kind of come up really I'll be I'm, I'm just at, the, at this point in time I'm just looking to put the time in, in the gym and get the trying to work on getting some good sparring and stuff and kind of um, be so that I'm ready for when the opportunity comes really just on that golden contract um, how do you see sort of the rest of the tournament playing out have you had a chance to sort of think about it obviously Jose Burton's in there yeah um, I, was, I, I did spar with him just before um, that previous fight and I think he's kind of probably one of the uh, probably the favourite really um, at, to be honest I, there's a couple of guys in there I hadn't really seen much of but I did see a few highlights of some of the fights so to be honest I don't think it's a kind of outright um, I don't think it's a given that Burton's going to win because I can't think what the name of the kid, but there's a foreign kid in it who looked quite tasty. To be honest, yeah. he he stopped. Um, was it um, Ward? He stopped. He looked quite good, and um, he he seemed to really really can really fight. Uh, who else is in there? Um, there's a, to be honest, there's a few. I think for me, there's that kid who beat Ward and uh, Burton. I think are the favourites for me. Absolutely. Um, just going on to February 29th, how can people get tickets for the fight? Yeah, contact me through my social medias um, and obviously, uh, yeah, basically through me. <laughs> Ideally, buy tickets through me, but um, obviously, there's other lads in the gym. There's also April uh, Hunter, she's also on the show, so you can contact them through, through social media as well to buy tickets. I mean, obviously, the Sky April bill's just been announced, headlined by Lewis Ritson. But how important is it also to have these other sort of bills, like in the Eagles Community Arena, because there's so much sort of northeast talent coming through? Yeah, obviously, these small horse shows give like the, the people coming up kind of the opportunity to fight. I think they're just as important as the big shows. Really, obviously, the big shows are for the big fights, you know. But for all the guys and, and females just turning over, they've got to start like a kind of grassroots and kind of. And obviously as well, it's for your, all your local support to kind of, because obviously there's only so many big shows a year, so you need these smaller shows to kind of keep the fight as active throughout the year, really. I mean, what are your sort of ambitions, say, by the end of the year? What are you hoping to sort of achieve? I, I would love to kind of, again, get the opportunity to fight for another title, really. I think that's kind of my aim, whether that's an area title, English title, British title, whatever it is, really, whatever opportunity kind of comes, really. Um, I just kind of put the work in so that I'm ready when the opportunity comes, really. Uh, that, that's my aim, a title, really. Just want to get your thoughts on a few other things. Um, who would you say at the moment is your pound for pound top three in the entire world? What uh, just boxers in yeah. any weight division? Um, you've, you've got to say Canelo. Um, I mean, I've always been a fan of Triple G as well, but I mean, I know he's kind of he's probably 
his best years are behind him, but he's still a force at, at, at the division. Um, I'm trying to think of a third. Um, I mean, you've, got to, you've probably got to say. I'm, pro I'm probably going to say like Tyson Fury or Wilder at the minute. I mean, I'm, I'm saying them too because I, I believe. I, obviously, I'm a massive fan of Anthony Joshua as well. I was I was on like G, around the GBC in a similar time as him, so I've got to support him. But um, obviously, with his loss to Ruiz, he's kind of got his unbeaten record. Whereas Fury and Wilder are still unbeaten, and Wilder's got unbelievable power. He's just yeah, he's not the most skillful, but he can get you out of there with one shot. Um, and I think Fury for a big guy, he can he, he can box, he can he can move. He's for a big guy, he can. He da well, he dances around, and he's, he's what is he six foot seven or something? And you, you don't ever see a guy that big move the way he does. So you've got to kind of put him up there, really. Sort of led me to my next question. How do yeah. you see that rematch going? <laughs> do you know what it is? I think like like many people, I think nobody can call it because where boxing skills are concerned, it's Fury. I think if it goes 12 rounds, it's Fury without doubt. But again, it just takes a split second of uh, loss of concentration. And like happened in the previous fight, he got put down. Somehow he managed to get back up. Um, but with Wilder, that could happen at any moment. So like, I really can't call it really. I'm, I'm obviously, I'm gonna go with Fury because he's, he's, he's British, you know what I mean? So that's where my money's on. But in fact, I've scrapped that. I wouldn't put my money on either. But if I, if I had to choose, I, I, I'm hoping Fury, to be honest. Final one, what sort of motivates you? What's your motivation to box? Um, I, th I think, I mean, I, 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 like I say, I think when I started boxing, I didn't really have any big expectations. I started late, late in boxing um, and progressed quite quickly. And um, I'm the type of person, no matter whatever I do, I want to be the best that I can be. So, I, like I say, I want to go as far as I can go in the sport. Um, in terms of motivation, I think, again, just loving the sport and wanting to be the best at whatever I do, really. I think that's my motivation. Um, and obviously, I have got a family, I have got bills to pay. So, again, it also helps to be successful and kind of be able to support your family, really. But um, just to be the best I can be, really. Well, it's Seki, thanks very much for your time today. And uh, we'll look forward to February 29th. Get your tickets for the show. It's going to be a big card in Newcastle. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.